What's up everyone and welcome to another episode where we're going to talk about a group tracked since 2017 that is sending hundreds of thousands of messages to victims that ultimately installs a remote access trojan to steal information from devices. If this sounds like deja vu, then you may have just watched my episode on Squirrel Waffle installing a trojan on your machine or the episode on the Red Line Info Stealer. While these all sound similar, each has a different end goal. In case you have not watched my episode on Squirrel Waffle yet, the link to that episode is above. And if you haven't watched the episode on Redline Info Stealer yet, then shame on you. The link to that episode is here. Now this Trojan we are going to talk about here is by the group dubbed TA2541. Great name, right? This group has a crush on companies in the aviation and transportation industry, trying to infiltrate companies, steal secrets, and apparently try to find out how to properly transport someone on a stretcher? Now I hope you'll watch the full episode, but in case you already know the story, you can now skip directly to my insights at the end of the episode, right from the timeline below. For the rest of you, let's review the story together and see what we can learn to protect ourselves and others. Oh drat these computers, they're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. So the story goes, way back in 2017, an attacker was flinging simple off-the-shelf malware in malicious email campaigns aimed at the aviation, aerospace, transportation, and defense industries. And researchers then identified the advanced persistent threat group responsible for that series of cyber espionage and spyware attacks against the industry. These attacks feature high-volume email campaigns using industry-specific lures. Now, the group, which researchers have dubbed TA2541, typically sends hundreds of thousands of malicious messages, nearly always in English, that ultimately deliver a remote access Trojan payload using commodity malware to collect data from victims, machines, and networks. That's according to a new report by Proofpoint that was released on Tuesday. Though a number of the group's attacks already have been tracked by various researchers, including Microsoft, Mondion, Cisco, Talos, Morphosec, and others, Proofpoint's latest research shares comprehensive details linking public and private data under one threat activity cluster they call TA2541. Indeed, previously reported attacks related to TA2541 include a two-year spyware campaign against the aviation industry using the async rat called Operation Layover and it was uncovered by Cisco Talos last September. Then, a cyber espionage campaign against aviation targets spreading a revenge rat or async rat was revealed by Microsoft last May. Congratulations, you're doing a great job by wanting to learn about the TA2541 rat attack campaign. I appreciate your support by watching my episode about it. Now, if you're new to my channel and have not yet already, please consider subscribing to my channel and smashing the bell to be notified when I upload new episodes where I give you insights into the newest important cybersecurity news stories like this one. With my insights, you can be better prepared to protect your company, your family, and yourself against these and other cyber attacks. So hit the subscribe button now and let's continue to learn about this story together. Proofpoint first started tracking the actor in 2017 when its tactic of choice was to send messages with macro-laden Microsoft Word attachments that downloaded rat payloads. The group has since tweaked this tactic and now most frequently sends messages with links to cloud services such as Google Drive or OneDrive hosting the payload according to the report. However, although the approach to how they hide their malicious payload has varied, the group has mostly remained consistent in its choice of targets, lures, and the type of payloads it uses, observed Sherrod DeGrippo, Vice President of Threat Research at, and Detection at Proofpoint. What's noteworthy about TA2541 is how little they've changed their approach to cybercrime over the past five years, repeatedly using the same themes, often related to aviation, aerospace, and transportation, to distribute remote access trojans, he said in an email to ThreatPost. This group is a persistent threat to targets throughout the transportation logistics and travel industries. In terms of which specific rats are used, attackers tap a variety of low-hanging fruit. That is to say, they use commodity malware that's available for purchase on criminal forums or available in open source repositories. Currently, TA2541 prefers to drop async rat on victims machines, but also is known to use Netwire, WSH rat, and Parallax. 
In nearly all observed campaigns, TA2541 uses lure themes that include transportation-related terms such as flight, aircraft, fuel, yacht, charter, etc. For example, researchers revealed an email that impersonated an aviation company requesting information on aircraft parts as well as another that requested info on how to transport medical patients on a stretcher on an ambulatory flight. If executed, PowerShell pulls an executable from a text file hosted on various platforms such as Pastext, ShareText, and GitHub. The, the threat actor executes PowerShell into various Windows processes and queries Windows management in instrumentation for security products such as antivirus and firewall software, and then it attempts to disable the built-in security pr protections. In addition, occasionally TA2541 also will use email attachments instead of cloud-based service links including compressed executables such as rare attachments with an embedded executable containing URL to CDNs hosting the malware payload. So what can we learn? TA2541 attacks start with phishing emails containing relevant information regarding to individuals and businesses being targeted using themes related to transportation, aviation, and aerospace sectors. In one case, the attackers used COVID-19 themed lures, but these weren't highly customized. Now, attackers sent these in large numbers with an implied urgency to fool victims into downloading malware. All of the messages were always in English. TA2541 has been around since 2017. That's 35 years in dog years and an eternity in internet years. The fact that they are using off-the-shelf rats at this time, and they still work, is very troubling to me. It tells me two things. Number one, some companies in 2022, after SolarWinds, CodeCove, Colonial Pipeline, Kaseya, JBS, Log4 Shell, and all the other high-profile newspaper front page news grabbing cyber attacks, after all that, some companies still don't believe cybersecurity is necessary. It's fake news by the IT world to make me spend more money. Or maybe they just really haven't heard of it. And some of those companies are critical industries providing military software and hardware to governments. So, number two. Apparently, remote access Trojans, or rats, are somehow immortal. At least some of them are. Now, I thought cockroaches were the only immortal species, but maybe rats are cockroaches in disguise. Seriously, though, in, in some of these cases, you have the source code open sourced on like github and you're telling me that we cannot stop these from getting on our system now i i know it's not that cut and dry but you could bet dollars to donuts that there are companies who are like eh, anyone is spending the money on cyber security and then as for rats being immortal the trick in many of these cases is that these attackers are using PowerShell to turn off antivirus software and firewalls so that the rat is not detected and hence purged from the system. So as always, what do we need to do? We need to make sure our systems are up to date. We need to use antivirus and anti-malware software. We need to regularly check our firewalls and we need to continuously educate ourselves about how these new attackers or these attackers are coming up with new ways to trick us into clicking that link or opening that document enabling macros so that they can get this Trojan on our system. If we know the current tactics, we can be aware and catch them in the act, just like Columbo or Murder, She Wrote or CSI Miami. But more important than being some TV show detective is keeping your systems from getting infected. So I hope you continue watching my episodes to stay on top of the tactics these threat actors are using as they evolve and protect your company, yourself, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, maybe cousin Jimmy, or maybe not cousin Jimmy, but the rest. With that, I say thanks again for watching this episode. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Don't forget to ride.